Hi everyone, so uh, the theme of the 2013 uh, meeting is Down with Dogma, um, and it's fitting that the meeting next year will be held in New Zealand. Um, we now have a New Zealand president um, as of this meeting, and uh, in fact I was uh, talking to Ross last night and he, he told me that, uh, well he didn't really tell me, but he suggested that perhaps his first order of business would be to rename the college. So be the <laughs> inaugural meeting of the College of Intensive Care Medicine of New Zealand and Australia. <laughs> um, and uh, so uh, when I first told Ross about the theme for the meeting, um, he, he sort of told me a joke. Um, in fact, uh, at that time, it was on an evening when he had a few wines, so he told me the joke about four times over the course of the evening. Um, <laughs> And so I'm going to recount it to you now. So this is what he said. He said, um, I'm thinking of painting my car red. He said, I'm painting my car red because if I paint my car red, I know that it will be fast. I know this to be true because Ferraris are red and they are fast and fire engines are red and they are fast as well. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not a very funny joke. But, um, <laughs> But um, he did tell it, as I say, a number of times. And when it comes to dogma, it, it has some relevance because I think that's what dogma's like. You know, you see something in medicine in one situation, and then you bend it round and you make it as though it's true in every situation. Um, and it's the sort of childlike thinking, um, you know, the sort of magical thinking that children are prone to. Those of you who have children will kind of know know that. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about one of my children. Um, he's just started school, um, and uh, you know I'm a proud father, and I think he's quite clever, as you do with your own children. But he's got this problem with drawing people, and uh, he sits there and he draws people, and he draws their legs, and he draws their tummies. He never forgets a tummy button, but he usually doesn't draw arms. You know, so there's a head, and then a tummy, and then a tummy button, and some legs, and no arms. And uh, anyway, so one time, not long ago, he was drawing this person with no, no arms. Um, and I pointed it out to him. I said, hey, you know, there's no arms. Um, and uh, to his credit, he recognised that this was a problem. And uh, immediately he started drawing some arms. And I sort of wandered off and came back a few minutes later, and I was very proud. He was drawing fingers as well. Um, and he drew four digits. And I said to him, hang on. There's only four, you need to draw, draw five. And uh, he sort of looked at me quizzically and he said, uh, no, Daddy, this is a picture of Homer Simpson. <laughs> um, and uh, it, it's true that this tells you a few things. Homer does only have four digits. One, it tells you that I'm a terrible father and that my children watch too much television. Um, and two, I think it tells you that children are very, very perceptive, you know? And actually, to challenge dogma, I think that that's what you need to do. You need to be perceptive. You need to look at the things that are around you and think, hang on. Um, and, uh, and um, you know, I know what you're all thinking. You're sitting there in the audience, you're thinking, we're intensive care physicians, we practice evidence-based medicine, we're pillars of wisdom, and surgeons are the dogmatic ones. Um, you know, and you're right, they are prone to magical thinking. Um, <laughs> But uh, I don't know that evidence-based medicine is always the answer. Um, you know, if you look at uh, Greg Vandenberg's original tight glycemic control study, there you've got a study where uh, a single centre trial with poor external validity was incorporated into guidelines around the world, became a benchmark for quality and really assumed the status of dogma. Um, and actually, I think evidence-based medicine has the real potential... Uh, to be dogma creating, um, actually. Um, and, uh, you know, that said, evidence based medicine is the modern paradigm, and I think it's a good thing. Um, but uh, I think it's really important that we're skeptical about bold new fashion. Um, Ronaldo Bolomo said something to me not long ago. He, he said to me that uh, skepticism is like uh, chastity, um, it shouldn't be given up too freely but the young are always keen to give it up. Um, and so I think it's important that we're sceptical, but at the same time, I think it's important that we, we're not afraid to 
challenge the things that we're told to be the truth. Um, and, you know, I, I think that's something that we're not very good at doing in medicine. We believe the things that we've been told are true. Um, and when Barry Marshall got up on the stage and, and suggested at an international infectious diseases conference that uh, Helicobacter pylori was the cause of peptic ulcer disease, he was nearly laughed from the stage because the modern paradigm at that time was that peptic ulcer disease was caused by stress. You know? And uh, 20 years later, he has a Nobel Prize, um, and Helicobacter pylori is now recognised as the major cause of peptic ulcer disease. Um, and so I think there's a lot to learn from that. Um, as I've said, um, the theme of next year's uh, ASM is Down With Dogma. We don't have any Nobel Prize winners uh, speaking, unfortunately, or, or none of them have won the Nobel Prize yet. Um, but we do have a fantastic program. We have all of our speakers confirmed. The entire program is, is, uh, is written down, um, and everyone said that they'll come. Um, we have uh, Derek Angus speaking. He's the uh, section editor of, the, of Critical Care for JAMA. We have Charles Natanson, who's the head of the Critical Care Division of the NIH. Uh, and we have Luciano Gattinoni, who's made a whole career from challenging dogma. Um, and I think that it's going to be a fantastic meeting. You know, I'm really excited about it. Um, some of the highlights of the meeting, I think, um, Stephen Street's going to give a talk about memes, gizmo, idol tree, wiki truth and the rise of magical thinking, which is a very appealing title. Um, and uh, Luciano Gattinoni is going to give us a, an account, um, I guess an iconoclastic view of uh, intensive care practice and tell us about his work on extracorporeal CO2 removal. Um, Ronaldo Belomo is going to talk about beta blockers for sepsis. And uh, Andrew Davies is going to ask the question that I think is on everyone's lips, which is, are the critically ill actually hungry? Um, I can't promise you any uh, answers, I'd have to say, but I can promise you questions. Um, I can't promise you that at the end of the meeting we'll debunk all the bad dogma and give you the good dogma to take away. But I think that I can promise you that the 2013 meeting will uh, engage you um, and uh, that uh, you'll be interested um, and that you'll be challenged to think differently. Um, Wellington is, uh, in actual fact, the best city in the whole world. Um, <laughs> for those of you who have visited and uh, didn't notice, you need to come and pay closer attention, perhaps look a bit harder. For those of you who haven't been to Wellington before, uh, the 2013 ASM is a great excuse. Um, thanks very much, and I uh, hope I'll see all of you in 2013 in Wellington. <laughs>